No, I'm in the middle. Um, I'm in the middle of transferring all my sites to a new hosting company, and I'm just um, having a couple problems with a couple of them. But I, it's nothing that I have for you to ask. But that server buddy, does he? I mean, the um, backup buddy, does he work really well? It works very, very well. I have yep. server buddy, but I don't have backup buddy. You want to see a demonstration? I would love to. Okay, I'm going to turn your microphone off so we get rid of the echo. But I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a copy of Thesis eStore. If we go to, let's see, I'm going to go to my host, Bluehost. Okay. And I am going to log in. Let's see. Actually, that's right. It's not that domain. It's BYOB tutorial. And then... And if you want to chime in in the middle of this, Sandy, feel free just to raise your hand, and I'll put you back on the microphone. Okay, so we have, so I'm in my hosting account now. What I'm going to do is set up a subdomain. So I'm going to come over here to subdomains, and I'm going to make an eStore 17 subdomain, and it'll be an exact copy of, the, of eStore 16. So subdomain is going to be eStore 17. Document root will be there. We're just going to go ahead and create the subdomain. And then when the subdomain is done, I'm going to create the MySQL database. So then we'll scroll down here to MySQL databases. and we'll create a database and a user. Actually, you know, while that's happening, what I should be doing is I should be going to www.estore16.byob tutorial, and I'm going to log in and make a copy of the site. So... WordPress admin. Okay, we'll go down to uh, Backup Buddy. And actually, I think I'm going, well, yeah, it's fine like it is. Go to Backup Buddy, hit Backups. Create a full backup. Oh, backup's already complete, so there it is. So now I'm just going to download that to my local computer by selecting it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to come back over here to Bluehost, and I'm going to make a eStore 17, E-S-T-O-R-E-1-7. -E and we'll create the database. Okay, and then now that the database is created, we're going to assign a user to it. And so I want eStore 17 as my database, and I'm going to put eStore 1 as my user. I'm going to add that person, and I'm going to give them all the privileges. Okay, so now we have our user, our database, and our subdomain created. And so now I need to upload the files. And so I'll turn on FileZilla. I am going to, let's see, so I'm going to copy eStore 16, essentially. Site Manager, take eStore 16 and create a copy of it. 
and then I'm going to call that eStore17. Okay, and that, all that information is correct, except that I'm going to say eStore17 and get rid of that, and we'll, so we'll connect up to it. Okay, so now you can see I'm in my eStore17 directory that I created when I created the subdomain, because that's automatically created. So now I need to go to the appropriate place on my site, which in this case is downloads. Let's see, where did you go? My documents, yes, and then downloads, and we are looking for, if we pick last modified, okay, so there's the one I just created, FileZilla is not responding at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to upload that one to the site, and then I'm going to go down and find a backup, and I'm going to find, we're going to divide it by a file name, and I'm going to go find import buddy is the file name I'm looking for, go the other direction. H. Okay. Oh, there, there's import buddy. So I'll upload that as well. And so now the big file and the little file have been uploaded to the site. And so now I'm going to do the really exciting part, which is run import buddy. So I'm going to type in www.estore17.byobtutorial.com slash importbuddy.php. Okay, so that's going to run that import buddy file. So here we are. The first page is it says it recognizes this as the backup file. Do I want to use that? I'll just say yes to the next step. We are going to migrate it to a new server, and that new server is going to be public HTML, eStore 17. So we say next. So it has now extracted the files. We say next. And that brings us to the setup for the database. Now the database name was BYOB Tuto eStore. 17 and the user is BYOB Tutor eStore 1. Oh, I did not give that thing a password. I need to give it a password. <laughs> it won't work without a password. So let's go back to MySQL databases. Oh no, it does have a password because the user has a password. And so I'm going to, let's see, I think that password is, yeah, okay, we're going to test the database settings. Okay, that worked. And then we hit the next step. Okay, now this is probably 100% complete. So now if we take this domain and we paste it, There it is. Now we have eStore 17 byobtutorial.com set up. has all the same stuff. In fact, it still says less than 16 because I didn't change that. It has all the same stuff. And if we go to WordPress admin, of course, it has the same login information. And the one thing I have left to do is I have to go down to permalinks and resave them. So we come down here to settings and oh, general, right? Uh, no, permalinks. And just hit save changes. 
and uh, I may as well just change that to general. Let's go to general options and change it to lesson 17. Somebody just this morning asked me a question about a new feature in WPE Store, so I think I'll just make a lesson 17 for it. We'll just use that site. So we hit save changes, and the whole migration is now completed. You can see it right there. I mean, I didn't start timing myself, but this actually has, you know, every image, every catalog item, the forms, you know, the add to cart function, the shopping cart. I mean, everything is 100% completely functional based on the original site. So I'm going to turn you back on here, Sandy. So that look fast enough for you? That was unbelievable. But you didn't have to um, go into uh, your PHP admin to connect the database? Nope. Oh. Wow. That really looks very simple. Uh, does it work on large sites as well? It worked on my worked site. On my site. Okay. I mean, you don't have to show me. I'm, I just had such trouble that it, you know, becomes a... Uh, frustrating time sometimes. 